hear that? Ready, set. It's the sound of football season in the tri-state area. But the Ashland Tomcats aren't in full gear. Not yet. You know, we want to keep things in place, not only what the KHSA has, has sent down, but also just common sense things. This practice is limited contact. We see most of our injury not on Friday night. Dr. Andrew Gilliland has helped the Tomcats stay on the leading edge of safety protocols. As we started to implement them, I thought that we would be met with a lot of quizzical looks. Their focus was on athlete safety as well. So when the Kentucky State High School League introduced more rigid guidelines, it wasn't a surprise for the Tomcats. It's really just the way that we do things. If an athletic trainer says they're out, they're out for the rest of the practice or the rest of the game, no questions asked. The guidelines call for progressive intensity because, for instance, you don't want a concussion on day one. Yeah, it can be difficult to tell. I mean, it can feel like any other headache or, I mean, you just feel like you're sick to your stomach, you know. These expanded concussion protocols are designed to protect student athletes because if the athlete takes a hit like this during a game or practice, the student might find themselves negatively affected in the classroom. We've had kids go on homebound where they're not coming to school when they've had a really bad concussion. We've had two or three of those. But it's not just concussions. Limiting contact activity was to prevent all injury. It's reducing the risk that players get hurt in the preseason, or worse, play hurt. Keeping a trainer could be more costly. Some school um, districts can't afford the athletic trainer. At what cost do we talk about our children's safety? But it's better than relying on coaches. You want to save the bodies of the kids, and, and that's the one way to do it. For 13 Sports Zone, I'm Norman Seawright, working for you in Ashland.